Hello everyone. Suppose you want to store customer profiles, order history and payment information, then creating a client database will help you a lot. Moreover, in the medical sector, databases are used to track medical history of patients. Even in the banking sector, it also helps to manage customer accounts, track transactions and store financial information. Here we can easily create a client database in Excel. So this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a client database in Excel. The first question occurs, what is a client database? Actually, a client database is a collective information that will include client's name, company name, position of an individual client in a company, address, city, state, contact non, etc. So, before going into the steps, let's talk about the database we want to create here. We want to create a database where we want to include client's name, company, city, state, contact non, and their email in column B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365 for this whole tutorial. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. For creating a client database, at first, we need to give the column headers or the field headers first. So, I'll select the B4 to G4 cells and go for the Home tab. And in the border section in the font, we'll select the all borders to create the borders here. Now, we want to give the proper headers here so that we can use for the further client database. At first, in the B4 cell, we'll insert the client name. So, we'll write down the client's name as our first header. In the next section, we'll go for the company. And like that, we'll go for the D4 cell and insert city. Now, we'll write down state. After, we'll go for the contact non. Now, we'll move on for the email section. We're trying to show them as our headers. So, at first, we'll select them, go for the home tab. And in the alignment section, we'll select the middle alignment center and go for the middle alignment. After that, we can also mark them in the font section where we have the fill color. We'll select the black as our fill color and in the text color, we'll use the white. To make it visually more attractive, we can also change their font size. Here, we'll make it 12 and we can also make it the bold by using Ctrl plus B or select the bold in the home tab. Now we have got our headers here. So now we will enter data into rows. At first we have got the row 5 where we want to insert our data first. We will go for the B5 to G5 cell and in the home tab We'll go for the borders and select all borders to use. After that, we'll try to enter the first data in the B5 cell. So write down Adam Williams here. Now we'll move on for his company, which is in this case, the ABC Limited. So write down ABC Limited. Now in the city section, I write down his company name, which is in this case, City Ramon. Now, we'll move on to his estate. We'll write down CA as his estate. We'll go for the contact name, which is in this case, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, we'll move on to our email section. In the G5 cell, we'll insert our first email for the client. We'll insert the abc at gmail.com. So, we'll insert it and after that we have to press the enter button. Now, we have inserted the data of our first client. Now, we'll go to every cell and insert the data for every client here. After entering the data of every client, we'll got the database like this. 
Suppose you need to insert an extra row or column in your database. Then you will go for that certain row, select it and right click on it and after that you will go for the insert section. Now you have got a new row in the middle of your database. You can easily go for the home tab and select all borders in the border section to create rows. You can do the same for the column also. You will select the whole column, right click on it and select the insert to get the new column in this section. But remember that when you are creating a client database, you cannot keep an empty cell here. Remember, if you are trying to get the result for a database, then an empty cell will create another section, which is not good for our database. So if you want to delete it, you can select the whole row and then right click on it. And now you can easily go for the delete section. After that, you can do the same for the column also. You will select the whole column, right click on it, select the delete and get your removal of the column. If we want to format a certain column or some cells, then we can also do this by using this database. At first, suppose we are trying to format the cells of the column F, then we'll select the F5 to F11 cell, go for the home tab. Here you can go for the cells and select the format and go for the format cells. Now you will have the format cells dialog box on the screen. Go for the number and select the special option. In the special section, as we are trying to get the result for the phone number, so select phone number as our special case. After that, if you click OK, then you will see your contact null has been formatted as you have desired. Now we'll go for creating a table from this entered client data. At first, you'll go for the B4 cell and press Ctrl plus A to select the whole data area. Go for the insert tab and select the table here. You can do the same by using Ctrl plus T in the keyboard. In the create table dialog box, see if everything is selected correctly or not. Then tick on my table has headers and click OK to convert the data range into a table. Now you have got the table design here. In the table design tab, you can easily select the table design as you have desired. If you want, you can also name the database. In this section, we'll select the data range and now you'll go for the table name here in the left section and now you can write down the name according to your wish. In this case, I'll write down the name here, client and data. So that's client data is my table name and click the enter button to set the name here. You can name your data sets according to your wish. Now, if you want to add more records to this client database, then you'll go for the new cell in the B12 in this case and write down the name here. Suppose I'll write down the George White here and after that I'll click the enter button. So you'll see the row has been automatically created here. After that, you will insert the values according to your wish. And after entering the whole data according to your wish, then you'll get your new record section here. That's how we can easily create client database in Excel. I want to show you something special. Suppose you are not trying to get the result for every section, but you want to get the result only for the Texas. So you can easily apply the sort and filter option to get and modify this data. Now go for the state here. And in the drop down list, you'll go and you'll see that you have selected all the values here. Now, if you're trying to get the result only for Texas, so untick every other section and click OK. Then you'll see you have got the result only for the Texas. Now, if you're trying to get the result like the previous one, then you'll go for the drop down again and again go for the select all section. Click OK to get the result like the previous one. You want to show the database according to the client name order from A to Z. So you'll go for the client name in this section and in the home tab you'll go for the editing and here you'll click for the sort and filter. 
here you will go for the option sort a to z then you will see your data space have been converted from upper section to lower section from a to z so that's how you can easily use the sort and filter option to get your perfect client database so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this